So, for the exterior look of the robot, I think it's important for it to have a human-like look and look attractive. For the exterior of the robot, I want it to look sharp. The exterior should protect the servos, it should protect strings running as like artificial tendons or muscles, protect all the electrical wiring, it should keep out dust, it should keep out rain and damp and, and mildew. So I want the entire outside of the robot to be made of either silicone or latex. And I'm leaning toward latex because silicone is really hard to work with in my opinion because if you were to say caulk a wall with silicone and then you try to caulk over it, the caulk doesn't really re-adhere to dried caulk. So I think latex would be a better choice. Also, latex is easier to paint. Silicones I use from the hardware store, you couldn't really paint them. Now, there was painter's silicone, paintable silicone, that I had one time for certain projects. I might consider using that. I guess it's a hybrid between, I don't know what you'd call it, latex, painter's caulk, and silicone caulk. It's like a combination. That could actually work. Also, that would, that would create a little bit of cushioning. If the robot were to fall and scrape itself, it would cushion all the sensitive electronics from getting damaged. For the arm, I'm thinking of keeping the servos on the inside of the arm so that when he falls, he's more likely to hit the outsides of his arms. And if you notice the way our bodies are, we just have bone right underneath here. All of our vital nerves and stuff are on the inside of our arms because that way they're protected. Same with all of our arteries and our legs, they're on the inside. So all the vital stuff is on the part of the body that's least likely to get damaged in a fall or if somebody cuts you with a knife or whatever. Our bodies are designed to prevent damage. It's really excellent design. So all the muscles should be along the inside part of the arms and I should try to stay away from putting it out here. But I mean I may have to put it some out here due to space limitation. We'll see how that works out. It's going to take an awful lot of servos to control all the complicated complex motions of a hand and I want the hand to be fully articulated just like a human hand. So the skin is providing cushion, insulation, keeping out garbage. It's very important. Also I was thinking maybe I'd give it hair, maybe I'd paint it or have somebody else paint it to actually look like human skin. I know latex is used for Halloween masks so you can probably get it to look pretty realistic. That'd be really cool if I could get some very realistic looking skin. I would like to keep the contour of the human body. I might need to beef up the arms more than mine, like a bodybuilder, just to fit all the servos that we'll need for the hand. I can run the hand servos even up into the arms though, but then the bicep servos need to be in the chest, and then the shoulder servos need to be like, it's just, you run out of space pretty quick. Then I need room for the artificial lungs, then I need room for the laptop, I need, I need room for so many different things so I'd like to get as many servos in the forearms to save space up as I get into the torso as much as possible. Because I don't know how much space I'm going to need in the end. Also the skin will give it waterproof. So it can actually get rained on and not just immediately get broken. And also prevent rusting which is really important.